Tonight, there's another big event right here at Fox 5. This is one of our big nights, and this is because we are finally at the time for the D.C. Democratic mayoral debate. One of the moderators just happens to be joining us live this morning because it's none other than our very own Jeanette Reyes. And, of course, we have Georgetown behind us, which is looking really nice this morning. You're going to be at the historic hall on the campus. Uh, finally, tonight is the night. We're ready. Yeah, we've been counting down to it for a while. We've also been prepping for it for a while. I'll be joined by my co-moderators, Mo Alethi. He's with Georgetown University. And as well uh, as Tom Fitzgerald. Of course, we know him here on Fox 5 on the Hill on Sundays. This is a big deal. It's the first live televised debate. It's happening right here on Fox 5, 7 p.m. tonight. I mean, we talk about it all the time as far as what's going on in D.C., some of the challenges, some of the opportunities. We'll be addressing all of that, posing those questions to the three mayoral candidates. Yeah, which was two up until yesterday. Got a big boost when the mayor finally committed to joining the other two candidates. Yeah, big news. We'll have, uh, of course, Council Member Treyon White, Robert White Jr., and now the mayor, uh, Muriel Bowser. The three of them will be joining us this evening. You know, it'll be interesting. I mean, of course, the mayor will have to defend her record. Much of it has been throughout the pandemic, and, of course, the two other uh, council members laying out their vision one final time, what they plan on doing in the district uh, in the years ahead, especially as we see what I say is kind of the light at the end of the tunnel as we seem to be coming out of this pandemic. What do they envision is the future and, and should be the future for the district? Right. All three well versed in city politics, obviously, as either current or former council members. Yeah. Um, what is the format? What should we look forward to tonight if we're going to be tuning in and watching at 7 o'clock? So you'll see in, in, for the most part, a traditional format, but we want it to be a little less structured than what you're used to. The reason we're doing that is because uh, we want open discussion between the candidates. There's the questions we're posing to them. Of course, they have the follow-ups and the rebuttals, but we want them to kind of challenge each other. As I mentioned, uh, you're going to have the mayor having to defend her record. We know the two other candidates will want to take her will want to take her up on a couple of those issues. We're talking about crime in the city, gun violence. We know a lot of people are worried about carjackings. Most of those uh, the suspects behind carjackings happens to be happen to be juveniles. And some of the candidates, uh, including Treyon Wright, actually, has uh, a plan for juveniles when it comes to kind of putting them on a better path than what we've been seeing. So those open discussions mm -hmm. should be lively, to put it lightly. One of the beauties of uh, beautiful things about open discussions is you, you tend to get more out of it, right? Absolutely. Because they're challenging each other in that point, not just uh, the moderators. One of the challenges for you is you have to make sure that they don't go too off the rails and get too in-depth. Exactly. And then you only have a couple of topics you can that you can get to. Um, what, do you, what do you expect to be one of the topics that you get to right out of the gate? Uh, you know, we're going to talk about uh, education. We've seen when it comes to education because of the pandemic, disparities that were already there between white and black and brown students widen even more so throughout the pandemic. This is despite more funding that we've seen going toward education. So it's really a matter of What's the issue here? Is it more funding? Is it the way that it's being allocated? SROs in schools. We talk about the homeless encampments. So it's it's a number of issues. Crime, of course, affecting everyone, not just in certain wards. We're seeing them in many more places. What's the real solution here? Is it just the traditional way where we've seen people facing punishments in the courtrooms and things like that, the, the judicial right. system, or is there another way? Right. And the bottom line, how is the city going to be better four years from now than, than where we are today? Yeah. Uh, we can find this pretty much anywhere tonight, right? We're going to yeah. have it on air and online. We'll have it on air, of course, here on Fox 5. We'll have it online, fox5dc.com, and our sister station, Fox 5 Plus. So make sure you tune in for that. Right. And uh, like we said, we, we promise it'll be a lively debate this evening with all three candidates. Candidates, Mayor Muriel Bowser, just announcing she'll be joining us within the last 24 hours. So right. make sure you tune in for that. Lively debate, and for viewers at home, live and commercial free. So make sure you check it out starting at 7 o'clock.